Radiotherapy is a powerful way of treating patients and in many cancers, I'm thinking for instance breast cancer, it, it has some great effects in long-term survival but looking at the elderly specifically, what are the new applications for radiotherapy not only in breast cancer but other cancers for older patients in, in your view? In uh, other cancer, especially in lung cancer or in brain tumor or also in prostate cancer, in elderly patients now we can offer an excellent uh, treatment because we can concentrate radiotherapy in uh, a week or sometimes in just one shot and obtain excellent result in terms of overall survival, progression-free survival, without comorbidity. And so I think that uh, this is a new scenario. It is very important for this type of patient in which quality of life is very important. Could I ask you, I'd like to ask, ask you about that, but uh, in the case of breast cancer, mm -hmm. uh, it's also interesting to be able to avoid radiotherapy in those patients who will not benefit from it. What have you got to say about that? Uh, now we have uh, several studies publishing just some months ago, in which you can demonstrate that radiotherapy in patients aged more than 65 years old is important to obtain a local control, but it's not important for overall survival. And the local control, the risk of local recurrence is too low. So, we start to identify a subgroup of patients in which we can avoid radiotherapy. Maybe in luminal A cancer, it is a, a very low risk cancer. Now uh, from Florence, but obviously with the, the help of a URTC, we try to propose a new study in which we maybe obtain, we hope, the result in which we can have the avoiding of radiotherapy. So we have three different harm. Only surgery, radiotherapy, but not to the whole breast, but to the index quadrant, so partial breast, or only hormonal treatment. Now, there are, however, some patients with higher risk disease with whom you would go ahead with more radiotherapy. Which are those patients in breast cancer? My, with high risk cancer, maybe like lung cancer or brain cancer. But, it, but in the case of breast cancer, breast ca what, what are the categories of breast cancer where you would still nevertheless go for radiotherapy? Oh, all of the other, uh, till now radiotherapy is uh, a, a main treatment for this type of patient. So now you, you cannot avoid radiotherapy in high risk patient or in patient age less than 75 years old. So radiotherapy is a very important uh, part of the treatment. And so obviously not avoid radiotherapy in the uh, outside of clinical trial in this moment. Obviously. But in the case of uh, other cancers, lung cancer, prostate cancer, and primary brain cancer, I gather that there's a case for using radiotherapy instead of surgery. Yes. now. With hyperfractionated radiotherapy, we can give maybe single shot or three radiotherapy or five radiotherapy, no more than five radiotherapy, and we can obtain excellent result, similar to surgery without comorbidity. And so is related to the new technical approach that radiation oncology now can use. So what are some of the outstanding examples of the efficacy of radiotherapy as an alternative to surgery in some of those cancers? In lung cancer, we can treat the primary lung cancer with five course of radiotherapy, five fraction. Prostate cancer, we can treat prostate cancer with five fraction of radiotherapy. Primary tumor brain, in, uh, we can treat with five fraction, obviously in a selected patient, especially in the elderly patient. There is a study that show that elderly patient with a lot of comorbidity can receive radiotherapy in five fraction and we obtain an excellent result in terms of overall survival respect to nothing. 
and obviously the surgeon can not undergo this patient to the surgeon to the surgery because they have a lot of comorbidity and so the choice now is nothing is wrong the choice now is radiotherapy not nothing and radiotherapy compared to surgery in fit patient obtain the same result so maybe in the next future radiotherapy can avoid surgery so you're trying to do the surgeons out of a job but yes are, are there any um uh, checks and balances, are, is there a downside of using radiotherapy in those patients for whom it would do as well in terms of overall uh, survival? Uh, yes, uh, we, I think that the progression of medicine and biological knowledge is going uh, to this type of approach, not because uh, I'm working as a radiation oncologist, but obviously uh, also in prostate cancer, you have the same result uh, using just five fractions a week, respect to surgeon. So I think just, can you propose a, this type of treatment with a lot of uh, comorbidity like surgery for prostate cancer when you have another treatment without comorbidity just and that you can use everywhere in, in a week? I don't know, we need a study. In fact, now there is a, an ongoing trial Base that uh, is try to demonstrate this uh, possibility. New surgery with robotic surgery versus new radiotherapy with hyperfractionation. And so maybe we have to wait for the study. Mm. So as we go into the era of precision radiotherapy, yes. what's the take home message for doctors? Take message for doctors is believe uh, in uh, their work and start to use this uh, possibility to improve the survival to the patient. So believe and use.